Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike KD2KOG, part of the technical support staff here at SDRplay.com. Quick video. I want to show you guys uh, the AIS system, the Automatic Identification System, which is a ship transponder system used by most of the commercial shipping industry. It's a really wild mode. It's, it's almost like ADS-B for aviation, except this is AIS for, uh, for boating in the marine industry. And I'm about 15 miles west of the Atlantic, basically, in South Florida, and I'm picking up uh, quite a few signals. No vessels as of yet. Most of the stuff that I'm picking up is, is stationary, but I want to show you real quick the two options that I have that I know about so far that allows me to decode AIS transmissions. Now, there's two frequencies that they transmit on. I believe one is 161075 and the other one is 162025. I'll put a link in the description with the actual frequencies. The mode is narrow, uh, narrow band FM with a filter width of about 12K. But let me launch SCR Uno and let me show you what I can pick up. And I'll show you the two packages that I'm using. I'm using AIS Mon with OpenCPN to uh, open, I don't know if they're open source, but they're definitely freeware packages. And then I'm using, uh, in a separate instance, which is basically doing the same thing as the first, uh, multi PSK with DX Atlas. Both are paid for use apps. Now you're going to need a virtual audio cable installed. I'm going to assume that yours is installed and configured and you selected the proper output within STR Uno. So let me just click play. All right. The first frequency is 161.975 and the second one, um, 99.9% .9 sure is 162.02, it's either 0, 020 or 0, 025. But let me just get this going. Let me mute that just for a second. And you'll see the two blips. Let me zoom in. You're going to see a blip over here and a blip over here. All right, there's a data burst. And as I said earlier, AIS transmits, uh, I don't know, yeah, it does transmit on two separate frequencies but they're not redundant. So it's not like one is transmitting on both at the same time. It's just for, to, it, I, I am assuming it's to alleviate congestion on the, on the, you know, the system. I don't know if there's a difference between what messages go out on the first channel versus the second. I'm still learning this mode, but I just want to show you how I have my setup set. So I'm going to launch AIS Mon and I tell it to use the Steinberg. My sound card has an internal loopback, so I don't have to use a virtual audio cable. I tell it to transmit this information via UDP to the local port here, 127.0.0.1, using this port. And then I go into Open CPN, and I go into the configuration here, and I go to Connection, and I tell Open CPN to listen to the data that's being transmitted from here. Well, this is the, the route, SDR Uno, into AIS Mon, AIS Mon going into OpenCPN and OpenCPN is going to plot the data. All right, so 127.0.0.1 port uh, 10.110 and we're going to click start. So start monitoring, click OK here. I'm going to have to unmute it. This is muted. This is showing the data that's being decoded from AIS Mon uh, into OpenCPN. And as I said earlier, I'm only getting, uh, I guess, fixed buoys or uh, beacons of some sort that are stationary. Uh, it should be able to track moving vessels, but I haven't gotten anything yet because I am located roughly, that one should be me right here, and the coast is right over here. All right, so I'm going to close this one down. And now I'm going to show you how I do it with MultiPSK. Same thing, just two different programs. So let's launch MultiPSK. Now, what you could do is if you want to decode both channels, you can run a second VRX within STR Uno and 
set one VRX to pipe out through virtual audio cable and set the second one to pipe out through VB cable. Or you, if you have a paid uh, subscription with virtual audio cable, just create a second pair of cables and assign those outputs with an SDR Uno. All right, so let me unmute this. Okay, now multi-PSK is getting data, just like AIS Mon would get the data, but within multi-PSK, you can plot this on its internal map. If you click local map, and if I click display all, it should show, if I can find display all, it's gonna show what it's decoding here. Now I can't zoom in on the map. The map is static. Uh, it's not a dynamic map. You can change certain features within multi-PSK's map if you click on uh, maps and then select the map for your region and then close with storage. So that's one way to do it, but I like using the second third-party app called DX Atlas. DX, DX Atlas will plot the shipping information or the stationary buoys on its own internal map. So let's get that going. So within multi-PSK, I select DX Atlas, which is here. We can close the one that we launched and I have to unmute it so this way it can get data. And that's basically it. I'm going to try to type up a PDF within the upcoming days. I'll put it out. I'll put links in the description for all of this uh, software that you're seeing here. If you guys find any good stations or have any information, leave it in the comments. If you have any issues, we're trying to get this set up. Uh, leave it in the comments. I'll do my best to help you. Have a very good holiday and a, a wonderful new year. And I'll see you guys in the next video. 73.